Hey guys, are you looking to add a shop all to your e-commerce store? In this video, I want to show you how to do it. Um, now, before we get started, my name is Cal. I'm a developer, a store owner, and I run the e-commerce growth community for store owners just like you and me. And each week I post more videos. So if you find this one helpful, subscribe and hit the bell. Blah, blah, blah. Let's go. All right. So let me share my screen. <clears throat> all right. This is Cornerstone. So first of all when we look at the theme this is just completely unvarnished right here i'm going to just take a screenshot so i can draw on this so this is made up of two sections first of all this section over here is your categories right and this section over here is your pages right now your pages are turned off by default in cornerstone and in many themes I did another video showing you guys how to turn that on it's in the settings um, I guess I could show you how to do it again real quick but um, let's say you want to add a uh, shop all over here like this right let me show you how to do that without <clears throat> breaking your you know your awesome dynamic menu so first of all, what a lot of people do, or what a lot of people want to do initially is to go to product, product categories, and then they create a shop all. And then they move everything under it, right? But the problem if you do that is that now only your shop all is actually gonna show in the menu. Right, so now you just lost this cool descriptive menu that you had, and people have to click to get in it. And now you got to worry about how does the how do those drop downs look? And you can see they don't look that great the way I have them uh, at the moment. So what's a better way to do it? First of all, you don't have to do it like this at all. So we can I'm going to just take this away. I'm going to delete that shop wall that I just created. Oops, I think I clicked the wrong thing. I'm gonna click it and then delete it. There we go. All right, so now it's gone. Let me show you something that a lot of people don't know, which is that there is a default parent most category on Big Commerce already without you doing anything. So the place that that is at on every single Big Commerce store is slash categories. This exists no matter what. Um, now you can have your category set to show products. You can have it set to show just the items in the current category, even if there's nothing there. You can also change the way that the code is to show subcategory thumbnails to force people to drill down. That's a whole separate video. But what we're talking about today is how to get this shop all here. So if we know that slash categories already exists then we don't have to create a shop all parent category and then move everything into it as well as its current location then really the question is just how to get it to show up in the menu you know next to the stuff that's already there so it'll say shop all main cat pond maintenance fish and plant care right so let me show you how to do that oh and first of all let me show you where to enable those um those web pages, if you don't have those turned on, you just go into themes, customize, click on the little art easel. Uh, what do you call this? Like the art, like the palette. <laughs> I don't remember the, the word for it, but um, you go into, let's see, header and footer. And then under this, you would uncheck hide links and web pages. That's what makes the web pages come back. So let me show you how to get the shop all link. Now that we know that the category already exists, it's just a question of how to get a link in there, right? Because the first half of your menu is all dynamic categories. And the last half of your menu is, um, you know, dynamic pages. Now we could say, um, you know, put a shop all link in your web pages menu and say, just send that to a link and make that link categories. Right. But the problem with that is it's going to it's not going to show up at the beginning of the whole menu. It's going to show up at the beginning of the web pages. So if I come back here and 
refresh it, you see it shows here, which looks stupid, right? It's not what we want. We want it over here. So it's the first thing. So people are seeing the parent category and then some of the child categories and then pages, right? So let's go out of here and I'm just going to delete this link that we created. And I'm going to show you guys how to actually hard code it into the menu. Um, this is a little bit cody, but not too bad. You can always show this video to your developer or, you know, come see my team. Um, let's see. So we're going to go to we're going to go into the theme and we're going to go to edit theme files under advanced. And <clears throat> all of your pages reference components and then within the co the com the common components folder there is a header and the header references a navigation menu. So we go to navigation menu. And then navigation menu references right here. You can see this is where it's actually looping through all the categories to build the category half of the menu. And this is where it loops through all of the pages to make the pages half of the menu. So what we actually need to do is we actually just need to stick an extra menu item right up here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually copy this code that's one of the list items from the pages menu and I'm going to paste that right up here. I'm going to fix the indenting for my developeriness. I gotta I gotta have things line up. Um, all right so now it's roughly lined up and I'm just gonna take some of this stuff out because I don't want all of this stuff like I don't need this whole active pages thing. So I'm going to make it say class href equals URL. I'm going to keep the, I, mean, I don't know why they like spread this out over so many lines. So area label, let's just name this shop all. So this is for, you know, people with disabilities and their readers that read it. Now, because we're not in the context of a loop, we need to change this name and this URL. So we already know the URL. Uh, we're just going to hard code this and say slash categories. Well, if I can spell. And we, we know what name we want to put, which is shop all. So now let's leave. Let's just call this something else. So nav pages item, we're just going to call it shuffle. All right. So we have our list item here. It's at the very beginning of the list. So it's going to show up in first position and it says nav pages item. I like to leave this in here so that it, you know, doesn't mess up any potential styling. Um, this one right here was really just designed to help us tell between what's a category and what's a page. And since this is really neither, I just made up, made up my own little class. Um, okay, so I want to target it later. Uh, we didn't add any classes here. Actually, we should add this. We should add this class back in, which is nav pages dash action, just so we don't break any styling. So we have an anchor tag, nav pages styling is the class, href equals, and then there's the link, area label equals shop all. I had an extra bracket there, so let me take that out. We have the text of it, and here's where we close the uh, anchor and here's where we close the list item. So if we do that, we just hit save now. So all we're doing is basically we're just hard coding one list item at the beginning of the list. That's it. Everything else in the menu is completely dynamic. And this is a link that, I mean, really, we're never going to need to change anyway, because when would you want to not have your shop all link there? So I think it's perfectly okay to hard code this one link and have the rest all dynamic. So Let's go back to the front end. We'll refresh it. It might take a minute because usually when you make a stencil change, it could take up to you know a minute or two. And you see now that we have our shop all. So we can click into main cat. We got something. We can click into shop all. We got everything else. And we still have our dynamic category menu. We still have our dynamic pages menu. All right. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. If you did, subscribe and hit that bell and give me a like or something give me a comment 
you know tell me what your cat's name is it's something anything man show me that you guys are watching these and be sure to join our free commerce our free community of store owners at joint ecommerce growth.com and i'll see you guys next time thanks